Hi, uh, I am experimenting with a little bit of change of form in my expression. Uh, what I am doing is to reverse the, the order between writing and video recording. Uh, so far, when I was placing those updates on my blog, uh, first of all, I did like a big bulk piece of writing and then I tried to give like a summary of the writing in the form of a video. Uh, now, by the way, if you want to connect between this video and the writing that goes with it on my blog, as usually, click on the link that you can find in the description below the video. This is the general link to my scientific blog, Discover Social Sciences. And on that blog you will find a piece of written content which has the, the same title as this video. So this is the way of, of connecting it. Anyway, I am experimenting with the new structure of expression. So this video is likely to be slightly longer than those that I recorded before. And uh, I'm doing it because I know uh, that as a university teacher, I just love talking to people. I love lecturing. Huh? And when I lecture, I can phrase out things which are much harder to phrase out when I just write. Anyway, my line of thinking right now, uh, both in the context of my scientific research in general and in the context of a present situation, so the pandemic of COVID-19, I am digging a little bit more in the concept of collective intelligence. For a few months now, I have been working on applying artificial intelligence, so neural network, as a representation of collective intelligence. Uh, and as I was sending my papers around, uh, like draft articles, uh, the almost unanimous answer from my reviewers, from my editors was that, man, you, look n you need to explain s uh, in a simple, intelligible mode what do you understand by collective intelligence. So, in this update, I am uh, comparing two concepts, collective intelligence, as I try to nail it down, with individual intelligence. Uh, and the essential difference that I could find, uh, I found it essentially in an old book, uh, in Essays in Radical Empiricism by William James, uh, published for the first time, I think, in uh, 1902. So in the very beginning of the 20th century. And uh, here is what William James writes about individual experience. I will try now to switch to text in my Word document without uh, like hiding my camera. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, in the first essay, uh, in the essay entitled Does Consciousness Exist? William James writes, My thesis is that if we start with the supposition that there is only one primal stuff or material in the world, a stuff of which everything is composed, and if we call that stuff pure experience, then knowing can easily be explained as a particular sort of relation towards one another into which portions of pure experience may enter. The relation itself is a part of pure experience. One of its terms becomes the subject or bearer of the knowledge the knower, the other becomes the object known. My point right now is that the difference between individual intelligence and collective intelligence is that individual intelligence is very much about a representation. It is about how our individual mind interfaces with pure experience of reality. Whilst collective intelligence, as I see it, is rather constant experimentation. Collective intelligence, as I see it, it, connects very much to a theory known in evolutionary biology as adaptive walk in rugged landscape. The same theory is, by the way, used to, uh, in our, our artificial intelligence in programming neural networks. The idea is that collective intelligence is about experimentation, mostly. Uh, so, when I think about collective intelligence, I think about a way of collective behavior, a way of being together, which can sort of 
make abstraction from individual representation of reality. It is a way of being together which is just pure experimentation. Pure experimentation with what works. Huh? Now the next thing is how do we know uh, what works and what doesn't. Uh, here comes the question of outcomes. In, if I want to use a neural network to represent collective intelligence of a human society, I need to distinguish between the so-called output variables and input variables. If we think about social life, it is pretty obvious that uh, what we are after, so the output variable, cannot just be one thing, one variable. It would be a vector of variables, a vector of outputs, something complex. Huh? We want to be healthy, we want to be happy, we want to be strong, uh, we want to feel safe and so on and so on. Uh, we want to be loved, we want to love. Okay, this is a complex vector of outcomes. So the output vector in a neural network supposed to represent collective intelligence would be a vector of values, hmm? of something that we can practically give an ethical, uh, an ethical value to. Hmm? It is something we are after as a society. And it is really my research over those last months. I tried to use a very simple technique uh, of artificial intelligence. It is a technique called uh, the Gaussian mixture. It is essentially used to, to detect uh, the real uh, values or the real purpose of what someone or something does. Hmm? The idea is that if I have an objective description of reality with a set of variables, with a set of numbers, I can build alternatives of that reality and each of those alternatives would be focused on optimizing one single variable out of that set. And the representation which matches the closest, the real empirical experience, would be the correct one. So the output variable uh, which corresponds to this specific neural network which seems to mimic the best our real experience would be the out output variable that we are really after. And here I have a big question because uh, right now I think that the pandemic of COVID-19 is one of those big epidemics which used to change the course of history. I think, I, I, I know it can sound a little bit grand, but this is what I think. And uh, the question is, can we plausibly imagine a strategy of going through it, a strategy which does not really correspond to what we are after, which does not really uh, correspond to our values. My point is that uh, right now I hear many people uh, who claim that in order to go through that, we need to change completely our values, to change our society. And my practical question is, can we plausibly imagine a workable strategy of going through a crisis which assumes that we completely change our values, that we completely change the way we did things so far? I am skeptical about it. It is possible, yet uh, uh, it is not very realistic. Huh? Uh, what I have learned over 52 years of my life is that uh, I can achieve success when I use the skills that I already have. Uh, if I want to achieve success with skills that I don't have, I fail. Hmm? That's normal. Hmm? And here comes a question once again that uh, that collision between individual intelligence and collective intelligence. So individual intelligence is about representation of reality and collective intelligence is about experimentation with, uh, with what we do, experimentation with the survival traits. Now, can I represent, and, and this is a question that I'm asking myself, can I represent individually a collectively desired outcome. So can I like narrow down intellectually in my own experience a collectively workable and desired goal that the whole society can strive towards? Huh? A 
apparently it seems that yes, but my individual experience is always tainted with my egocentrism. Mm -hmm. And the collective outcomes are frequently very different from what I might desire as an individual. And the second thing, going like in the opposite direction, is the following question. Can I or can we experiment collectively with the most workable individual representations of reality? Mm -hmm. So can we like collectively experiment with individual stories, with individual existential stories? And can we figure out which story works the best? And then can we like reproduce this story into a cultural pattern of behavior, which might assure us pr prosperity or just save our civilization? Okay, these were just loose notes in that, uh, or, or loose thoughts in that video. I will try to put them in writing today and to post it all together today in the afternoon and we will see the result, how it goes together. Hi.